factor of security where you can learn how to protect yourself online and get insights into the cybersecurity world. If you're new here, my name is Roxana and today I am bringing you some security news from the month of August. So this is the first video and today we're going to talk about phishing attacks. A new sophisticated group has been operating undiscovered for at least a year and the group spoiler alert is coming from russia let's get into it and see what i got for you researchers have found that there is a group operating undercover for the past year or so that are very very focused on business email compromise or BEC. They reported the first ever Russian cyber criminal ring or group, and they've shown to be sophisticated attackers beyond the usual Niger Nigerian scammers that have a very basic understanding of English and stuff like that. This group is called Cosmic Links, and it's been associated with more than 200 Campa campaigns targeting senior level executive in 46 countries since last J July. So they've been at it for the past year or so. They were busy, I guess so. How they're being set apart from everything else, as I said, their English is very, very well. And they use very complicated words that only in high business environments would necessarily be used by highly educated people. Therefore, they they have they have some brains. They have some educated brains behind them. The researchers who have published the analysis says this is a historic shift to the global email threat landscape and portrays new and sophisticated socially engineered phishing attacks that CISOs around the world must brace for now. They have attacked many for Fortune 500 companies and globally more than 2,000 companies. And as I said, most of the attacks are made at senior executive levels with 75% holding the titles at vice president, general manager, managing director, and so on. So they're attacking CEOs, CFOs, and so on, very, very high levels. I'm gonna put a screenshot from the article that says an example of one of the emails that I do. And technically, as you can see, it's the email address is securemercury at securemxservices.cc, whatever that means. And it's a matter with law firm, which means that they, they technically have language and they are trying to express the fact that they're very legitimate and the article says that they've hacked into high level uk law firms so they can get cases or information or very very sensitive information that can put them in advance and put the email together and the emails is sent to a particular cheryl because everything else is blacked out and the email said, Cheryl, there is a time sensitive corporate matter that needs to be resolved with our appointed law firm by the close of this week. I would like to entrust it with you. Please let me know soonest by email if you can handle this and I will fill you in on the details. Regards, blah, blah, blah. But it's sent from my iPhone. That should be the first red flag. Okay, another example, and it says subject M and A by blah, 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 number, and probably that's a case number or something like that. Or, I mean, it's a random number, we all know that, it might be. But it says privilege and confidential, dear Jane Blank, please allow me to introduce myself and my firm. I am Blank Blank, I'm in charge of M and A for Blankety Blank Blank. Blank, blank. I'm stealing this from someone. Shout out to Charlotte Dobre from YouTube. I'll link her uh, channel up here. Our firm has been retained by Blank to assist the acquisition of all assets of a Southwest Asia-based company. 
Blank has informed me that you will be our contra contact and will ass be assisting us in all matters pertaining to this acquisition. According to the terms and agreements signed by the senior executive of your group who appointed you to handle this case, at the moment you are the only one involved. Terms and conditions. Upon receipt of this mail, following the NDA number 2512 signed by the different parties involved, all correspondences related to this matter will be classified and registered under the case number CC261013. Any disclosures concerning this operation before the official announcement could result in the cancellation of the offer by the market authority. You cannot involve a third party without our prior consent or disclose any information related, relating to this matter by any means of communication other than this mailbox. Kind regards, blah, blah, blah. So this is a lawyer. And as you can see from both of these examples, they have things like acquisition, law firm, privilege, confidential, terms and conditions, case numbers, NDAs, NDAs number, who knows if those are actually true or not. And everything's written down as a genuine law person that, I mean, not necessarily lives in the UK, that, but that works in an um, English-speaking law firm or has a very good understanding of English would send. And in the first email, other than sent from my iPhone, which is hilarious, they have a very, very high vocabulary because they have interest. They can have, they have also like um, with our appointed law firm by close of this week. Close of this week means end of week, which is very you very much used in office lingo. And it's very professionally put together. So I'm not surprised that many, many of these high level individuals have been fallen for it because everything's put so together and so legitimate. And I think we've also let our guard down a bit lately because we know what a typical phishing email looks like. For people that have been a bit more educated and they've educated themselves with what a phishing email is and so on, you look for specific red flags. And when you get an email like this that tells you about the law firm, Asia best company, contracts, executive of your group who appointed you to handle this case. It all looks very, very, very professional. And honestly, I would fall for this. This is really smart and I'm very impressed. And one of the reasons why I wanted to make this video on this particular article is because I want people to understand that phishing emails are not just very badly written and their English is bad and the email address is obscure or something like that. Yes, that's 99% of the cases, but there is this 1% who usually attacks the 1% of the population that is rich, but there is this 1% that is very, very smart. And I am 100% sure that there are so many groups and so many phishing entities that are doing this type of emails to at a very high level and they're really smart and honestly they're really really smart scammers and they appear to be very very professional and legitimate for example the article also states that the cosmic links attacks are unique in the amount of money they request while the average request is in most executive impersonation business email attacks are around $55,000. Researchers said that cosmic links emails have asked for hundreds of thousands and even millions of dollars. So they're not playing. This is why those emails are really smart because they ask for nice money, honey. This is stolen from somewhere as well. Shout out to Ginny Mai. That's from, <laughs> it's stolen from. They ask for really good money. So, you know, of course they're smart. Of course they're gonna have a very eloquent language. They're probably running in high society, some of these people that are writing the language. They're honestly in Russia. They probably have like PhDs and stuff like that. Who knows, because nobody caught them. Um, other than they found them, but nobody actually arrested anyone. But they also attack based on what sort of policies the 
the company that those individuals work for and so on. I'm gonna link two articles that I found on this particular subject down below so please do check it out it's really interesting and honestly for a person that dreams of earning as much money as these people are earning it's a bit fun to read that big companies are also very very vulnerable to basic things like phishing attacks you know it's quite relatable if i say so myself yeah so this is the video for today this is my piece of news i hope you like it please don't forget to subscribe if you want more videos like this and any other videos on phishing emails passwords wi-fi wi-fi protocols public wi-fis i'm gonna do some videos on vpn subscribe for more of that and thank you for watching like this video if you've enjoyed my tiny piece of news and comment down below what you think about this thing it's spicy isn't it i know you like it thank you for watching don't forget to stay safe protect yourself and protect your devices and i'll see you tomorrow with another cyber security news bye that's ca uh, that's ca asked um, so they have attacked um, um uh, i can't talk